What's up everybody? Welcome back to our talks about the voice and singing. Today we are talking about breathing. Breathing is really, 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 really important. Why? Well, when it comes to talking about breathing for singing, a term that is good to use is breath management. Breath management is just regulating air pressure for singing. Think about it. When you speak, you don't have to think about breathing very deeply. Take a breath and say, hey you, hey you. You didn't have to take a very thoughtful or deep breath in order to successfully say those words. But when we sing, we have to make sound for longer periods of time. That means we have to think about how we use our air a little bit more deeply. Take a breath and sing, hey you, here we go, hey you. Okay, well you might have noticed that your breath had to be a little bit deeper, took a little bit longer. Well, we call this breath management. Breath management is just the way that we regulate our air pressure to be able to sing for longer or shorter periods of time depending on what we need when we sing. This concept is also known as support. Support is a concept that gets thrown around in singing with lots of definitions and it can get very, very complex and sometimes confusing. But support essentially at its foundation is just breath management. It's just regulating air pressure for singing. Let's try an exercise to see if we can illustrate this concept. Take a breath in and see if you can let all of your air out over the course of five seconds. Here we go. Now, take a breath in and see if you can let it out over a period of 20 seconds. Here we go. So what did you do in the second exercise to make the shh sound last longer? Basically, you just let out the air more slowly so that it lasted for a longer period of time. In fact, you actually involved different muscles in your body to make this happen. You probably used the muscles of the abdomen, the intercostal muscles, which are the muscles in between the ribs, and also the vocal folds themselves to release the air from the lungs at a different rate than the exercise before. That is, you held back some of the air so that it lasted for a longer period of time. While you weren't necessarily thinking about your muscles doing this, uh, you may have noticed a little bit of buildup of air, maybe even a little bit of pressure in your body uh, around the lungs where you felt like the lungs were kind of trying to stay expanded and you were holding back some of that energy. So when we sing, just like when you did that exercise, we're just exhaling. The only difference is that we're adding some pitch. Singing is essentially just a controlled exhalation with pitched sound. Now, there's another muscle that's sort of given this royal, mythological, celebrity treatment when it comes to singing. That is Her Majesty, the diaphragm. The diaphragm gets all sorts of attention and you may have even heard something like, breathe into your diaphragm when you sing. Flex your diaphragm, hold your diaphragm, squeeze your diaphragm, lower your diaphragm, sing from your diaphragm. Let's put all of these myths to rest and let's look at the actual role of the diaphragm in more detail. When you break it down, there are basically three phases of breath management. The first phase, as you might guess, is inhalation. The diaphragm is this upside down bowl-shaped muscle right at the base of the lungs and it sits around the base of where your ribs are. So if you feel around for your ribs, uh, your diaphragm sort of sits like an upside down bowl right here. But why is the diaphragm important? Well, when you breathe into your lungs, your diaphragm lowers like this and it actually flattens out. And then when we exhale, it releases back to that upside down bowl position. So you can see that on this diaphragm, there's an arrow pointing down here. That's the diaphragm lowering. The chest also expands this way, and it also expands a little bit behind as well. Here's what we don't wanna do when we breathe. We don't wanna take what we call a high breath. That is, the chest just goes this way. <sighs> That's very different from what we'll sometimes call a low breath, which involves the lowering of the diaphragm. Now that you have that image, you can understand why people talk about the diaphragm because we want to make room for the lungs to expand. And that means the diaphragm has to lower. 
That's inhalation. Let's talk about exhalation before we talk about the second phase. Exhalation is just the reverse. Diaphragm goes back up, the chest sort of uh, goes back inward. We wanna have good alignment like we talked about. And, and we certainly don't want the chest to collapse like this. In between inhalation and exhalation is a really short phase called suspension. Essentially, this is just the phase between when we inhale and when we sing. But it's this concept of setting up the breath. It's where the lungs and everything stays super open and we prepare to sing. So here are some do's that you wanna think about when you're breathing. Do take a relaxed, low, breath okay we don't want a tense breath <gasps> that's a very tense high breath a low breath will usually be relatively quiet okay that's because the muscles of the throat are relaxed we also want to allow the air to escape evenly a good way to do this is to actually sing through a straw in a cup of water and if the bubbles are pretty even that's a good indication that you have an even stream of breath. If they're kind of all at different levels all the time, then you might be letting your air out a little bit unevenly. So that's a good little test. Now it's your turn. Let's try some exercises that are gonna help you develop your breath management. We're gonna breathe in for four counts. Suspend, that is just hold open in that position for four counts. We're gonna breathe out for eight on a shh sound. Here we go. Good. How did you do with keeping the whole body open and engaged? Let's try it again, breathing in for four counts, suspending open and relaxed for four counts, and then we're gonna breathe out for 16 counts on an S sound. When you're breathing out, see if you can keep everything expanded and opened, but not tense. Here we go. Good. Finally, we're gonna breathe in for four counts, suspend for four, and we're gonna breathe out for 32 counts on an F sound. Remember, when you breathe in, we don't want a high breath, we don't want a noisy breath, we want a relaxed, open, quiet breath that fills this whole area and allows the diaphragm to lower. Here we go. Nice, how did you do? Practice those uh, on those different consonant sounds. Those will help you develop your breath capacity. Remember, stay relaxed, stay open, have fun.